Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we've got here a video surveillance system with four cameras that supports up to 10 cameras, a small NVR with one terabyte hard drive, which we can upgrade, a really nice Wi-Fi coverage, easy to use on the NVR, but if we want to use with our phone anywhere in the world, we just need to install the app and have internet access basically that is it but it has a few more interesting things so let's go and take a closer look at it and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below inside the package in this particular kit we will find four cameras and each camera comes with the necessary accessories so that we can assemble the cameras and we can mount them wherever we want they can be connected via wi-fi or either with ethernet cable if we want and if we want we can also use them individually and record the content or the footage on the camera Camera itself. If we open the bottom of the camera we will see a SD card slot so we can put the SD card slot right over there. Actually Tonton sells these cameras individually which I don't have any right over here because it's live recording right now. By the way they are outside and although it's not raining at this moment they are waterproof so you can install them anywhere that you want. The NVR has one terabyte hard drive which we can upgrade if we want. At the back we will see that it has one HDMI connection so that we can connect to a display, one USB so that we can use a mouse, RG45 Ethernet connection so that we can optionally connect directly to the router and also a micro SD slot so we can use a micro SD card instead of the hard drive which I wouldn't suggest that because the hard drive has a lot more capacity, it's cheap and actually more reliable than the SD card. In terms of the assembly of the kit is so easy as just connecting the NVR to the power and then once we start connecting the cameras they will out automatically pair with the NVR. Now we have four in this kit but if we want to add more then you will see in just a few moments because I will show you the system and you can see on the timestamps down below how we can add more cameras. But if I wanted to add more I just need to go to the system press a plus button and then connect the camera to the power and they will pair automatically. It's basically a plug and play system easy as this to have it working on our home or even on our business. Now in terms of image quality I will show you a few images on screen. One of the things that we should note is that I did record at 1080 but this video is 4k so just have in mind that the image is upscaled. Nonetheless, the image quality is not bad at all. During the day, especially, we can see everything really clear. And during the night with the infrared, we can also see it really well. We can recognize the person that we are looking at. And if we need to boost the image, there's also this accessory. But at this moment, just paying attention to a screen that it's being recorded by a camera at this moment, it's perfectly clear that the image quality is good. Now, it's not good like this good right over here that we can record on a proper camera to stream or to transmit on YouTube, but it's good quality to recognize someone that it's doing something naughty or something like that. Now, in terms of of this accessory. This is a IR illuminator. Now we have seen in the past Tonton has several of these devices and usually they are used to illuminate a area which is darker. So the camera has infrareds. These have three infrared beams I think but right over here we have about seven infrared beams which will make any area a lot more visible to a surveillance camera. But we have covered that in the past and I will leave some links down below so that you can check it out. But one of the curiosities that I came across recently is that there are guys using this for their VR system. So if you have a Quest 2, Quest 3, PS5, you are able to use this for your VR system so that the system tracks better the area that you are on, especially if you are using the system on a dark area 
area. So this is a really cool idea. I will leave a link down below so that you can check it out. But having in mind that it will be great for this at night to give it a boost in terms of the infrared, but also if you want to use a VR set. Now, that being said, let's go and take a closer look on how simple it is to use the system that comes on the NVR. And now on the TomTom system, and this is what we see if we connect to a TV or to a display. Uh, if I press twice, I will have full screen. And of course, we can go up to 10 cameras. At this moment, we have the kit with four cameras. I want to show you a few things in terms of configuration, at least how it works, the basic functionality. But one is the playback. At this moment, I've got uh, configured to record 24 hours per day. And that's what's happening here in gray. But I also have the events. When there's movements, it will show right over here. So it did show movement right over here, right over here. And if I put it here, and if I go to one hour so that we have a better zoom, and if I go right over here, and I can speed it up if I want to twice of the speed, I will see that my youngest kid just wake up, went to the kitchen and um, to take his breakfast. So uh, probably in a there he is. <laughs> it was early 7.38 in the morning getting ready to school <laughs> uh, in a few moments there will be someone with milk and toast and whatnot sorry about that noise and there we go so this is the way that we can see the playback so i've got at least four days testing this unit and if i go to 24 hours view i will have all these events right over here this was movement on camera two probably myself camera two is this one right over here coming out of the office or getting in on the office doesn't matter and if i go to know to the 17th it will show me the events or movements that there were and detection usually detection in terms of persons let me go to 18 just to see because i was yeah so if i go here to um 11 o'clock half past 11 more or less uh, I was testing last night, I was remembering that I was recording some images that probably you have seen already in terms of image quality during the night. And I can uh, do as I do when I'm in live, so I can see it or I can uh, see on the app as well and I can download the video. But um, to show you that it's easy as this to navigate on our footages. So I'm recording 24 hours, but I've got these events right over here, which will mark when there's movement. So this is a really, really cool way to display it and easy to navigate. Now, if I press right button, I will get out. And if I click right button, I will get into the menu. Now the menu, the system setup will give us this main menu, which is a bit redundant because we have options here that we will find here as well. So the split screen, it's self-explanatory. I can have, depending on the number of cameras, but this case I only have four, so this is what I want. And playback, we have seen cameras, we have uh, information which is important. Now, the way that I want to record at this moment is keep on recording 24 7, which is this mode. We also have the event recording, which I'm doing simultaneously, and customized recording if I want to record just from one o'clock in the afternoon up to three o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. So we can customize it this way. Now, the way that I have is I've got keep recording, but I also have intelligent detection. So it will detect the, the, the movement and it will record with those events that we have just seen. And then we also have the sound alarm, which I have disabled. I don't want the sound alarm. We also have the spotlight option, but these cameras that come included do not have any spotlight. So this will depend on a camera that we have. And basically this is the camera setup. It's everything automatically. We just need them to select what we want. In terms of date and time, there's not much we can see. In terms of network, there is. It is connected via Ethernet at this moment, but I can connect via wireless if I wanted to my router and it has a good range but I have all the cameras connected via network wireless and if you have the cable then you can use the Ethernet cable to connect the camera and that's great in terms of image quality but I'm having great results as well with wireless but the curious thing is that I only have three connections here but I have four cameras working so what's happening is that I have enabled camera repeater on this system which is something that it's not groundbreaking we have seen in other systems but it is really nice to see because not all systems 
have. So when they do, I always test and see how it works. Now, what's happening right over here is that I've got the NVR here on the office and I do have three cameras working directly with the NVR, but one camera is on the other edge of the house in a different floor. So it's really far away from the NVR and it's connecting directly to one of the cameras. And this will happen automatically. We just need to press this button, auto repeater, and then we can connect the cameras and that was it. that is it. It will do everything automatically. And then basically we have the network service switch will allow us to use Alexa if we want and RTSP, which is more important if we want to use Home Assistant, for example, to enable these cameras, which is great. Now, besides the network, there's also the diagnostics, which will show that at this moment I've got a camera disconnected. I will check that in just a few moments. It wasn't disconnected before, but yeah, it's showing as disconnected. I'm not really sure if I did disable the Wi-Fi repeater or not. Probably I did. Let's go back to the menu and system setup. We were on diagnosis, so we can see right over here. At this moment, we have a issue with the camera. We will have to see what happened. And this was great to happen while we we're recording so that we can see uh, exactly what kind of errors we have. And then we have the storage setup. Uh, I do have a hard drive, 2.5 inch Toshiba hard drive with one terabyte, used 37 gigs so far in four days, 24 seven recording. And finally the account app, which I will not open. And also the, because I've, I have the QR code here and I'm not really sure how many days I will be testing out. So sorry about that. But basically that is just to, with the app and then the reset to factory. So let's go back and the camera is back. So it, that it did have temporarily a issue. Let's go to system and diagnose this. There it goes. It did disconnect, but now it's working great connected via the repeater. And basically this is the way that we navigate on this tone tone system. So really simple as this for someone that has use the computer. It's so basic, so easy that sometimes we think, okay, so is this it? Yes. And this is it really easy to configure and just leave it to work. It will work and work and work. I've got a system uh, working on site this one, which you will be able to see on the app if you haven't seen already. And it has been working for the past four or five years. So reliability is also awesome. Now, one of the things that I would like to share with you is my experience in terms of this setup of the Wi-Fi coverage. Now, so that you can understand a little bit better. This NVR right over here is what will connect to the cameras themselves. And right now I'm recording this video. It is offline, so I'm recording everything, but I don't have any access to the internet because I did disconnect the cable. I was testing at the back of my office so that you have an idea of the distance. This office here has 40 square meters and my backyard or front yard. Yeah, it is a backyard as 175 square meters. And one of the cameras, which is this one right over here is towards the end of the corner. So we are talking about 40 square meters, more 45, 50, 90 square meters plus 175 square meters, which is where we have the first camera with walls. The other camera that I did place in is this one right over here, which is on the opposite side of this camera, which means that it's not here. It's not there. It's on that end of the backyard. And it is also one floor above. So it's getting the ceiling and the concrete iron and all that, which is one of the tests that I do on all the systems that we get here. Now, the third camera, which is this one right over here is on the first floor, which means that it's two floors above of the area that we are. And it's on this area of the house. So it's on top, immediately on top of the office, two floors above. So these three cameras right over here are getting signal directly on the NVR. But as you have seen, one of the cameras, which is this one right over here, it's not connected directly to the NVR. It's connected to one of the cameras. So just to have an idea, this camera here is at the other end of the house. So this is the backyard and then we have the office and then we have the living room, kitchen and so on. And on the other side, there is this small area, which is where we have breakfast and dinner and lunch and so on, which is after the kitchen. So really next to the front yard, garage and whatnot to the other 
opposite side. So it would be impossible to have a signal right over there. And I do test out to see if it's possible to connect between the cameras and it was successful. So this one right over here is connected to this one here, which is the camera that is on the first or the ground floor and on a distance of about 20 or 30 linear meters to this area right over here. Walls, doors, glasses and whatnot on a normal house. And besides being able to control the system with the NVR, as we have seen, if we want, we can also use our phone with the app. The app is called IC Clouds and we have used it here several times. I will try to leave some links down below with more details but basically we will be able to do everything that we have seen on the NVR but with the phone which is on our pocket. For that the only thing that we need is to have the NVR connected to the internet and then the app installed on our phone and we'll be able to access the footage live as it is right now or we will be able to play back past footage that we did record. So in terms of Wi-Fi coverage, it did pass all the tests that I did. So you can have an idea if you are installing this system on your home, the coverage that you can get. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.